sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it is a blessing to gather together as the body of believers, united by the love and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are living in times where it is increasingly important to walk in fellowship, to uplift one another, and to stand firmly on the truth of God's Word. As we come together today, let us open our hearts and minds to receive the truth from Scripture, to be strengthened in our faith, and to be encouraged as we navigate the challenges of our day. It is no secret that we are living in turbulent times. The signs are all around us. Uncertainty, confusion, and deception fill the world. But we are not without hope. God has given us his word as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Psalm chapter 119, verse 105, and as his children, we have the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. We have one another as a spiritual family to encourage and hold each other accountable. The world may grow darker, but the light of Christ shines ever brighter within and through us. In today's message, we will delve into a pressing issue that Jesus himself warned us about the rise of false Christs, false prophets, and false teachers. These deceptions have grown rampant, and it is crucial that we, as followers of Christ, remain vigilant and wise. Let us approach this topic with open hearts, remembering that we are not alone. We have God's Word as our anchor, and we have each other as fellow watchmen, guarding and encouraging one another as we journey together toward the eternal kingdom of our Lord. Let's dive deeply into the scriptures, understanding the importance of the situation, while also being equipped with God's truth so that we may stand firm and lead others out of darkness. We are called not just to endure these times, but to be overcomers through Christ, knowing that our victory is secure in Him. From the time of Christ's ministry on earth until today, the enemy has sought to deceive God's people through false prophets and false Christ. The devil knows that one of the most effective ways to lead people astray is by disguising himself as an angel of light in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. It is important that we remain vigilant, as Jesus warned us, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Matthew 24, 24. This verse is a call for us to stay spiritually awake and discerning. False Christs are not always the obvious cult leaders or radical figures. They can appear as subtle, charming individuals who claim to have a special revelation or deeper knowledge that others lack. They may preach messages that are enticing and sound spiritual, but are ultimately contrary to the Word of God. We must be careful not to be swayed by outward appearances or charisma. Instead, we must test every spirit to see if it aligns with the truth of God's word. 1 John 4, 1 instructs us, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. In today's society, it is becoming trendy to be spiritual or to identify as a believer. The enemy uses this trend to create a false sense of security luring people into movements that appear Christian but lack the foundation of truth. These movements often present a watered-down gospel that is comfortable and non-confrontational, leaving out the call to repentance, holiness, and surrender to Christ. We must be discerning, for even the most convincing appearance can mask a ravening wolf. Jesus said in Matthew 7:15, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. As a body of believers, it is our responsibility to stand firm and help one another recognize these deceptions. When we remain grounded in Scripture, we can identify the lies that try to infiltrate the church in our own hearts. The Bible, our ultimate source of truth, warns us that many will be deceived, but those who hold fast to the word will not be shaken. False prophets have existed throughout biblical history, 
from the times of the Old Testament to the New Testament church, and they continue to exist today. Their motives, though masked in outward piety, are often rooted in pride, power, and greed. 2 Peter 2, 1 warns us, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. The danger lies in the subtlety of their deception. False prophets know that outright lies are easily identified, so they mix a small amount of truth with their lies to make them appear credible. This tactic has been used by the enemy since the Garden of Eden when he deceived Eve by twisting God's words. Genesis 3.1 recounts the serpent's words, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? By slightly altering God's command, he planted doubt in Eve's mind, leading her and Adam to disobey God. Today, many false teachers preach what people want to hear rather than what they need to hear. They emphasize prosperity, success, and self-empowerment while avoiding the truths of sin, repentance, and the need for a savior. This is why 2 Timothy 4.3.4 is so crucial. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. We must be careful not to fall into the trap of seeking messages that cater to our desires, but stray from the message of the cross. Brothers and sisters, it is essential to remain vigilant and steadfast, continually measuring everything against Scripture. We must not be swayed by eloquent words, promises of wealth, or feel-good messages that lack substance. Instead, we should seek teachings that challenge us to grow in holiness, deepen our relationship with Christ, and lead us to true repentance. Discernment is a gift from the Holy Spirit that allows us to recognize truth from deception. It is a powerful tool that equips us to stand firm when faced with false teachings and doctrines. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 2.14, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. To understand and discern spiritual truths, we must walk closely with the Holy Spirit. False teachings often prey on those who are not grounded in the Word. Without a firm foundation, it is easy to be led astray by doctrines that sound spiritual but are far from biblical truth. This is why Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We must be a people who hunger for God's Word, who meditate on it day and night, allowing it to transform and renew our minds. Only then will we be able to identify the subtle deceptions of the enemy. Spiritual discernment is not something we develop overnight. It is cultivated through a life of prayer, studying the Bible, and seeking God's presence. The closer we draw to God, the more sensitive we become to His voice. Jesus told us in John 10:27, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. The more we familiarize ourselves with His voice, the easier it becomes to distinguish His truth from the enemy's lies. In these end times, when deception is rampant, the gift of discernment is essential. We must use it not only for our own protection, but also to help guide and protect our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. When one member of the body of Christ is deceived, it affects us all. Let us walk in unity, supporting one another in truth and encouraging each other to stay rooted in God's Word. Jesus provided us with a simple yet profound method for identifying false prophets. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Matthew 7:16. In the natural world a tree is known by the fruit it produces. If a tree bears good fruit, it is healthy. If it bears rotten fruit, something is wrong at its core. In the same way, those who claim to follow Christ but produce fruit contrary to the Spirit reveal the true nature of their hearts. As believers, we must not be fooled by outward appearances or grand gestures. Instead, 
we should examine the fruits of those who claim to be leaders, prophets, or followers of Christ. Are their lives marked by love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control as described in Galatians 5.22-23? Or are they marked by pride, greed, selfishness, and deceit? False prophets may perform great signs and wonders, but miracles alone do not prove that someone is from God. Even the enemy has the power to perform miracles to deceive. Revelation 16.14 warns us that they are the spirits of devils working miracles. This is why we must look beyond outward actions and discern the true fruit of their ministry. True followers of Christ live lives of humility, service, and obedience to God's Word. They point others to Jesus, not to themselves. They lead people to repentance and transformation, not to worldly gain or temporary satisfaction. We must measure all teachings and actions against the Word of God, which is our ultimate authority. As the body of Christ, it is our duty to not only protect ourselves from deception, but also to warn others. Ezekiel 33.8 emphasizes this responsibility. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Silence in the face of deception is complicity. If we see our fellow believers being led astray by false teachings or doctrines, it's our responsibility to speak out in love. James 5, 19-20 encourages us to turn back those who wander from the truth, reminding us that by doing so, we save souls from death. This is not always easy. It may require courage, wisdom, and grace. Yet, it's a vital part of being a watchman for the kingdom of God. Speaking out against false teachings may result in criticism, rejection, or even persecution. But we must remember that our allegiance is to Christ, not to the approval of man. Galatians 1.10 says, For do I now persuade men, or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. We are called to stand firm, even when it is uncomfortable, trusting that God will give us the strength to fulfill our mission. As we conclude this message, let us remember the seriousness of our calling as followers of Christ. We are called to remain vigilant, discerning, and steadfast in the truth. False prophets and false Christs will continue to rise, but as long as we are rooted in Christ, we will not be moved. Our responsibility is not only to protect our hearts, but also to lead others to the truth. The enemy's tactics may be cunning, but the power of Christ within us is greater. Romans 8.37 assures us, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Let us walk in this victory, confident that the one who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Heavenly Father, we come before you, grateful for your truth and guidance. Strengthen us to stand firm in these challenging times. Open our eyes to the deceptions around us and fill us with your wisdom and discernment. May we be bold in proclaiming the truth, guiding others to your light, and remaining steadfast in our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for joining us in this message of vigilance and truth. If this sermon has touched your heart, we encourage you to share it with others who may need to hear it. We warmly invite you to not just support our ministry, but to join us as an essential part of our divine mission and purpose. Explore our website, AwakeningRighteousness.com, where you'll find a free blog, inspiring Christian canvas art, faith-based clothing, and an extensive collection of Awakening Righteousness books. These resources offer deeper insights into the profound teachings of the Bible, with each book serving as a guiding light, helping you unlock and embrace the righteous version of yourself. By standing with us, your support breathes life into our ministry, enabling us to truly understand the teachings of the Bible and ignite faith in many hearts. You have the power to contribute to the saving of souls 
and to make a real difference on earth. Stay blessed, awaken the righteous version of yourself, and join us in this holy mission of saving souls. I love you. I'm here to help you as much as I can. May God bless you and guide you on your walk with Jesus Christ. God be with you. Amen. Thank you.